Good afternoon everyone, I'm Peter Overton. We're standing by to bring you the latest breaking news on interest rates. The RBA will announce its decision any moment now. We'll find out as you do when the news flashes up from our Reuters business service at the bottom of your television screen. The Nine Networks Finance Editor Ross Greenwood is here. Ross, in the framework of an election, plus other factors, I don't think there's been ever so much anticipation about an interest rate change. Or indeed, Peter, certainty. I think there's almost no betting at the moment that you get money that rates will certainly be cut today. The money markets are saying a quarter of a percent, and we can see right now that they have decided to cut interest rates as expected by a quarter of a percent to two and a half percent. So in other words, the Reserve Bank has done exactly what the money markets said that they would do. This is not a surprise, but it is also, I've got to say, only the second time in the Reserve Bank's history that it's ever moved during an election campaign. The previous time was 2007. It was also in Kevin Rudd's favour at that time. They raised interest rates on John Howard, although, as I say, this is broadly expected. And the Reserve Bank, after all, Peter, is independent. The opposition has a different take on this, but I would imagine Kevin Rudd and his Treasurer and the Labor Party would be quite happy with this in the framework of an election campaign. Well, in fact, I wouldn't be surprised that they've actually framed the election and the timing of it because of this decision that was expected today. But certainly the coalition will be saying that the rate cut means that Australia's economy is slowing and that's not good news. Certainly not good news either for those people with money in the bank trying to live off those savings, but this is what it'll do for a quarter of a percent rate cut on a mortgage, Peter. There you go. If you've got a $100,000 mortgage, you'll save about... What, uh, 15 bucks, I think the screen said $15 there, there, and also then you go on $300,000 a typical mortgage, about $45 a month, as you can see there. So that's the thing. The uh, Reserve Bank also today has said the unemployment rate has edged higher, and also that the Australian dollar, it wants to see it lower. It's already fallen a quarter of a cent since we've been on air, and that's as a result of that rate cut today. There you go. The Nine Networks Finance Editor, Ross Greenwood, all over it. Thank you very much, Roscoe. We'll talk to you a little later. Remember that Nine News will have complete coverage of today's interest rate cut by the Reserve Bank on Nine News at 3 o'clock, 4.30, then the main bulletins at 6 o'clock. Bye for now.